Hello mate, welcome back to yet another video and in today's video I want to share with you a story about my client Juan who came to me frankly being a shell of a man when it came to approaching women about being when it came to being confident with women and therefore or undoubtedly being a shell of a man had a tremendous negative downside on his dating life he wasn't dating anyone he wasn't happy with it at all so he reached out to me and asked my help and I gave him the help and after working with me I managed to get Juan very quickly within just the first two weeks I managed to get him his first date from cold approach so in this video I want to show you exactly his story exactly what his results were and also give you a brief insight into how we managed to achieve that first date from cold approach within the first two weeks so let me quickly just go into my computer here and the first thing that I'll show you here is a text message from Juan saying, hey Bartek, I've got some good news. I want to share. So yesterday I went to the Victoria Gardens area and I got a number from one of my approaches. This is one of the, this is one of the selfies she sent me. Let's go Juan. All right, so here you go. Right, Juan managed to overcome all his problems and I'll get into what those were in a second and how we overcame them, but he managed to overcome all those problems. He got himself into uh, Victoria's Garden, which I believe was a shopping center. And yeah, he saw this woman that he found attractive. He approached her, had a conversation with her, got her number. And it wasn't just a number because if we go here, hey Juan, how's things? Well, the date worked out great and my approaching is starting to feel fun. So there you go, right? Juan came to me having basically never approached anybody. Like I say, he really did feel like a shell of a man when it came to all of this. I could tell that he didn't really have a lot of general confidence about himself when he spoke to me like no offense Juan, if you're watching this um but yeah like he just you could just tell that he didn't really have a very high level of confidence just across the board right and obviously that had an impact on his dating life too like a big one because women like confidence right and if you don't display confidence if you can't be confident that is going to be a very difficult thing for you to then navigate right so Juan came to me with that problem, I helped him, he got the approach done, the girl liked him, he obviously showed a good account of himself in the approach, she gave him, she gave him her number, and ultimately he went on this date. And again, like I say, this was around two weeks inside the program. So from, from, from complete start, where like I say, he was very unconfident, two weeks later he had his first, and had been on his first date by a cold approach. So that is Juan's story, and you're probably wondering how that happened. Well, actually, you probably already know, don't you? Uh, <laughs> you've probably seen enough of these by this point. Uh, that yeah, it was the one and only trifecta of cold approach that helped Juan to get that first date within his first two weeks inside the program. Now, like I say, Juan was not very confident at all when he came to me. So I knew straight away when I had when I had that first initial call with him that this was going to be a big, big thing for him. And and this if. Once we improved this, I knew that this would be life-changing for him. And it was, right? So, yeah, I mean, just to summarise briefly, because I know I've, just, I've talked about this, this trifecta in a lot of detail in other videos as well. Uh, by the way, having said that, if you haven't seen any of the other, any other testimonial videos, I do recommend just going through them all. If you go onto my YouTube homepage and go on Client Results, there's uh, there's just plenty of videos there about the client results and in those videos I go I go in depth about the trifecta there as well so if you do want to know more about maybe each individual part of this process and why it's there then go watch those other uh, other videos too but yeah with Juan I knew that boosting his self confidence was going to be a big big thing and essentially in this part of the program there is like a, a two part process that I take my clients through the first part of the process is to boost their own self-esteem, is to boost their own vision of themselves, like how much value they actually have as a man and how much value they, they can actually bring to society and to the table in a relationship. Because a lot of men, they underplay how much value they actually have, right? So that is the first component of this boost in self-confidence, is to make the man see himself in a much more higher and a much more positive light than he currently is. And the second part of this process is to just bring the woman down a peg or two, right? Is to stop pedestalizing women. Because so many men do this. Like, they, they do both, right? They under pedestalize themselves and they over pedestalize women, right? And that's why you have this massive disparity between 
uh, perceived value. And that's why men find approaching women so difficult because they view these women as having as like such a higher perceived value than them, right? So in order to make it more easy for yourself to approach and for just generally, and to basically just generally have uh, better conversations with women, to act better around women, you have to balance the, the tables there, right? You have to see yourself on par, right? And, you, and, and we are, right? We're all just human at the end of the day, right? We have our own strengths and weaknesses. They have their own strengths and weakness, weaknesses. They have their own, like, insecurities and things like this, right? So we are all just the same. We're all, we are all humans, right? And this second part of that process is just to humanise that girl. It's just to normalise her. And just to start looking at her from a picture, from a frame, where you'll truly believe that, right? So obviously, this goes in much deeper into that. Like it's a lot of like psychology and things like this, so just evaluation and, and visualization. Uh, so I won't go too much into that uh, on this video. But yeah, once we took Quan through this process, he achieved what I wanted. What I wanted him to achieve. He was now starting to see himself in line with these women in terms of perceived value and therefore the idea, the prospect of actually approaching and speaking to them became far less daunting in his mind. So once we had him at that stage, then we went out and we developed his approach comfort. So again, once you have this different mindset, you're already going to feel more comfortable and confident to approach women, right? But even despite that, we'll still take our clients through this gradual escalation process. Like we're not gonna make them do anything too difficult too soon because throughout this whole process I don't want my clients to feel any sort of anxiety, any sort of you know overwhelmingness, any sort of feelings that promote these negative emotions. Like I don't want my clients to feel that. I want this whole process to be fun, enjoyable, exciting, right? So that's why everything here, it all stems from this moving scale of of comfort and anxiety right i want my clients to always be like on the edge of their comfort zone so that they are making progress but not too much so that they feel overwhelmed or they feel too much anxiety they feel too much pressure and this process starts to become unenjoyable this should be enjoyable at all times and that's how i like to structure things because then everybody is having fun right so yeah once Juan was happy with this then we moved on to approach comfort and like I say, we just made this like gradual escalation from you know, quite simple approaches first, maybe quite indirect approaches, quite subtle approaches, and then slowly ramping it up, slowly increasing the intent that we show, and slowly ramping up like the directness of, of the approach as well. And this whole process took around a week and a half for Quan uh, to, to get to a point where you know, he could approach most people, most women that he found attractive, you know, and, and tell them he likes them, you know, and tell them that you know, he, they caught his eye or, you know, those sorts of phrases, right? It's essentially just showing intent, right? He was able to approach basically any woman that he saw and show intent, which was obviously the main goal. And at that point, we could well and truly tick approach freedom off the list. Then we moved on to productive conversations. Now, we didn't actually do that much here before that first day. Obviously, we did more afterwards just to improve his skill set even more. But Juan got that first date from Cold Approach very, very early, just a few days into the productive conversations part of the program. Right, so we didn't actually get that much into all of this productive conversation stuff, like building instant rapport, building you know attraction, increasing investment, closing a deal. We didn't actually get too much into that. Um, it just so happened that when he approached that woman, uh, he was able to just convey enough attraction based of his you know pr current knowledge, right, and based of his current confidence now and his and his different mindset, and that was enough to get him that date. Um, but like I say, even after that situation, we still went through the productive conversation. And obviously, I take all my clients through the productive conversations part of the program too. So like I say, there's three main parts to this. Obviously, each one of these goes into more detail as well. And you'll get a very uh, you know, advanced understanding of, of, of all these as well so that you can basically just apply them in any situation and to always be in a position where you can maximize your attraction and your value in every conversation. But like I say, the, the three key ones, the, the three key pillars here, I, I, I can call them, are building instant rapport, getting investment and increasing attraction and closing a deal. And like I say, I take my clients through each three of these pillars and each pillar is, an, is a lot more detailed as I like once you go into like the, the branches off the side. So obviously like if you go like bam, like here, there'll be even more stuff to do with closing a deal. 
And then the final thing is obviously consistent action. So this one is really important as well and should not be overlooked because like with anything else, cold approach is a skill, right? And in order to improve in a skill and in order to develop a higher skill set in that skill that actually sticks and is permanent, it requires time, focus, attention, right? And not just for like a week or two, but for a longer time frame as well, because this, you want it to be a habit, right? You want this to become a habit because once this is a habit, it's no longer going to seem like such a big deal in your mind, right? Because right now, the idea of cold approaching is probably, it seems very inconsistent with who you are as a person, right? It seems very inconsistent with your current self. And one of the best ways to overcome that is just, is just to do it more frequently, right? It's just to make it a consistent action because once something is a consistent action, it will be identified as part of yourself, right? It will be identified and grouped with yourself, right? For example, like going to the toilet or brushing your teeth or eating food, right? It, it would just become part of who you are, right? And when cold approaching becomes part of who you are, you won't feel any sort of apprehension, anxiety, fear surrounding it because it's just who you are, right? So this is the best way to achieve that exact thing is just by consistent action. And obviously in a program, I help my clients to do that by building a plan, by establishing an integrated routine. Those two things allow my clients to fit this into their schedule and make sure that this can be a long-term strategy for them without sacrificing other areas of their life. In fact, just amplifying them. And finally, obviously I'm always there as well to keep them accountable, to support, to inspire, to motivate, just to make sure that any part of the, pro or if any time in this journey, they maybe get down about something, I'm always there to uplift them. So. Yeah, that is how this process works. And that is, that is ultimately how I managed to get Juan his first date from Cold Approach within the first two weeks. Now, if this all sounds good, or if you just want to know more information about all this and how I can help you, go to the first link in the description. You can book in a free game plan call with me. Now, on this game plan call, I will sit down with you. I will hear about your current situation and your struggles. And based off that, I will sit down and go through this um, trifecta with you. I'll personally, you know, show you this trifecta and you know, on our call and I'll go through exactly how I plan to help you get your dream dating life as quickly as possible via cold approach. So if that sounds of interest, go to the first link right now and book in a free game plan call with me.